Spider-Man 2 can consume more than 6 gigabytes of VRAM during benchmarks. The game is running at 1200p medium settings FSR set to balance and frame generation enable. If you set VRAM lower than 8 gigabytes for that game, you'll likely experience stuttering. And if you set it to auto, the game not even run. It will crash at startup. Here's my tip for finding the perfect VRAM setting. Benchmark your game and check how much VRAM it actually uses. Set your VRAM to match or slightly exceed that amount. This way, you'll get smooth gameplay without wasting memory, while keeping more RAM available for your device. For example, in God of War Ragnarok, after I adjusted the graphics to the performance settings I wanted, I ran a benchmark. I found that the game used just over 3 gigabytes of VRAM. In this case, I set VRAM to 4 gigabytes. If I set it to 3 gigabytes, it wouldn't be enough and would cause stuttering. If I set it to 6 gigabytes, it would unnecessarily reduce the amount of available RAM. So, 4 gigabytes was the sweet spot. Enough VRAM for the game without wasting RAM. If you're using an eGPU with your Legion Go, you'll want to set VRAM to auto. Why? Because when using an eGPU, the game will use the dedicated VRAM from the eGPU instead. By setting VRAM to auto, the device will free up more system RAM available on the Legion Go. I used to recommend Auto VRAM for most cases, but not anymore since many modern games don't work well with it. They either fail to start or crash. The only major exception for using Auto VRAM is when you're using an eGPU or when you've just updated the AMD graphics driver, because some games like Hogwarts Legacy won't compile shaders unless VRAM is set to Auto. There's no one-size-fits-all VRAM setting for every game. The best approach is to benchmark the game to see how much VRAM it uses. Set VRAM to give the game exactly what it needs, or slightly more. If your game is stuttering badly, it could be due to insufficient VRAM. Adjust it based on actual usage for the smoothest experience. However, going into the BIOS settings and constantly changing the VRAM allocation would be extremely annoying. Based on my experience testing more than 100 games, I've noticed that the vast majority of them run perfectly fine with 6 gigabytes of VRAM. While there are a few exceptions that may require a different setting, 6 gigabytes strikes the best balance for most situations. If you want to keep things simple and avoid the hassle of adjusting it every time, just set it to 6 gigabytes and leave it there. It will work well for most games without causing stuttering or crashes. VRAM plays an important role in game stability. In the BIOS settings, it is also noted that changing the VRAM allocation can affect in-game stability. Adjusting VRAM improperly may lead to crashes, stuttering, or other performance issues during gameplay. Therefore, it's important to choose the right VRAM setting for your system to ensure smooth and stable gaming experiences.